Ladies, gents, good evening. For some of you, might be good morning or good afternoon. Wherever you are, guys, Piotr here. This is Light Forest Global YouTube channel, and we are going to get another edu uh, educational video. Uh, and we are going to continue swing trading. If you remember last time, uh, I did short intro. Uh, into what uh, what uh, what about um, swing trading from my perspective today I'm going to provide you one very easy strategy uh, I already prepared few uh, examples on the chart but but before we jump into the chart uh, let me briefly describe the strategy for you first thing first uh, it's not gonna work all the time, right? That's what we have to understand. The second thing we have a few strict rules here, right? Uh, in order to uh, to have a possibility to try to trade, we have to be very patient with that strategy. All right, so. What is all about? Let's go straight into that, right? So the first thing first. Uh, let's have two clear swing waves to the downside, all right? Now, Let's have, after that, let's have two clear swing waves to the upside, all right? So let's make it, that was the first wave to the downside, some kind of the swing low and uh, how the swing looks like we discussed previously. So uh, if you haven't seen, you are more than Welcome to visit the archive section of the Light Forex Global YouTube channel and check the swing trading intro, right? Then we have the, some kind of the correction and continuation to the downside, right? What happened? We had two waves to the upside, two swing waves to the upside, where we've seen the sw second swing high only here, right? Meaning, meaning that the current market moves, those two swing waves to the upside took out the last two swings or last two swing waves to the downside, right? Good. That's the point number one. It's very important because based on that strategy, we are going to look to buy very deep pullback, right? Of course, there are going to be plenty of possibilities to try to enter this type of the setup, but I'm going to give you the basic with the Fibonacci levels, right? So taking into the consideration this whole move to the upside, all right? You are placing the Fibonacci tool and what you want to see, you want to see 77 and 88. That's your, the, the most, the most important levels, right? So one second. Yeah. So let's have a look what we have here. 77. And here, 88. That's what you have to make as your setup on the uh, FIBO tool, right? And guys, this here between 77 and 88, in case of the deeper pullback, right? That's your buying zone. Okay, that's your buying zone. 
your stop is going to go one two pips below that swing low all right what's going to be your first target first target another fib number to any four all right and the second the second you are let it run right and you are managing your stop by moving uh, the stop under each swing low you are going to to have all right so that's the setup if you want to go long okay now let's imagine that we have two waves higher maybe not that way let's have a look those waves like this all right and then we have two swing low uh, yeah two swing uh, downside moves right where the either first leg or second leg is taking out right those two legs higher okay that's the key right that's the key so then you know where you are going to start to measure from from here right then depends where we are going to get the bounce where we are going to see the swing low and bounce right you are placing your fib and you are looking for either 88 or 77 zone right okay that's in that case that's your selling zone your stop is going to be either one or two pips above and your first target and your first target is around 23 24 fib number again all right that's your first the second will read it run all right so well hopefully it's very very clear very very easy to understand of course you do have to do your homework but i'm going to tell you and show you the last three this type of the setups on euro dollar based on the 15 minute chart here right so what we have here okay what we have here we have one leg to the downside we have bounce second leg to the downside right following by leg to the upside pull back stop on to the upside okay what happened well we took out the swing high of those two legs to the downside right cool what we do we are placing our fib right we are placing our fib where is our buying zone that's our buying zone where is our stop two pips under the low what is our first target 23 24 so what we've seen pullback by order being executed first target being hit boom let's 
oops sorry let's have a look what we have more right your homework is to try to check also the important levels from the higher time frame that might be your filter right that might be your filter right or no what do you think you have to adopt this strategy to yourself to whom you are as a trader right whom you are as a trader can we agree that we have a wave to the downsides some kind of the consolidation so some kind of the Riley back or first profit taking and from here another move to the downside we have swing low we have first bounce following by the pullback and second Riley what happened look we took out that high we took out the swing high didn't we we did all right so that's our swing so let's have a look what is going on and you can do that with each two clear waves you've seen oh my 78 oh my oh my 24 first target been hit move the stop higher well the second part would be stopped out but that's how it works right guys so hopefully it's clear hopefully it's something useful for you for you especially that is very very easy strategy first take your time make as many tests as you need everything above 100 would be great right it's easy but it's not always going to work your way you are not always we are not gonna see some kind of the pullbacks or rallies as a correction to fill your order you have to remember about it it's not holy grail but something it may work long run for you guys it was my pleasure have a great evening and see you around